Hello, I'm Glenn Branch of the National Center for Science Education and the author of a commentary in the October 2017 issue of The Science Teacher entitled, Why the Scientific Consensus on Climate Change Matters for Science Education. There is, as I explained in the commentary, a scientific consensus on the fact that human activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, are responsible for global warming over the last 150 years. Multiple independent studies have demonstrated that upward of 97% of climate scientists accept the reality of anthropogenic climate change, and science teachers have a responsibility to teach in accordance with the scientific consensus. But upward of 97% of climate scientists agreeing leaves almost 3% dissenting, and you might wonder whether it can be termed a consensus if there are any dissenters. I have a response to this. There's a scientist out there with a PhD in astronomy from a reputable university who is a geocentrist. He thinks that the sun revolves around the earth rather than vice versa. So not all astronomers agree on heliocentrism. There are two possible consequences to draw. Either there is no scientific consensus on how the solar system is arranged and we should teach geocentrism as a viable scientific alternative to heliocentrism or we can be justified in recognizing a scientific consensus despite the existence of a few folks out there on the fringe and we should teach accordingly. I know which I prefer.